Hello everyone and welcome back again to On How channel. My name is Enes, the market for you. So if you have any questions or any video requests, make sure to drop them below in the comment or check out my Instagram right here below me. And I do reply to each comment and if you are wondering why is that, because simply, as I said, I'm working for you. And in this video, I will show you how to use Zendrop for dropshipping with Shopify. So a couple of weeks ago, I did make a video on the best dropshipping suppliers for 2023. And the first one I did mention, which is then drop and i did pick them based on a lot of factors the first one which is the reviews they have the highest reviews from dropshippers and they have the largest list of products to dropship and there is some really good benefits when it comes to zen drop the first one is you can actually use just the free plan and do dropshipping with it yes you don't have to pay for a premium plan on Zen Drop in order to do dropshipping. You can use just the free plan and it will be just fine. And the best thing about them is actually the refunds. If it did happen that your customer it did complain about the product, he didn't arrive yet and the shipping took really long time and you had to refund the customer. If you did so, you can actually contact Zen Drop and they will refund you as well. You just have to show proof that you did actually refund the customer because he was complaining for the long shipping time and they will refund you for that order as well. That's really good and not that many companies do that. And as well as replacing the damaged products, if you happen to get a customer again, complain about a product that's arrived really damaged and he can't use it anymore, you can actually contact them and just show a proof based on the pictures that did provide you by the customer, which is showing the damaged products and they will send you a replaced order. And that's really good as well. However, the only downside to Zendrop is actually the automatic fulfillment is only available for premium plan and that costs like $49 per month and that's the only the downside when it comes to Zendrop and without any more talking let's just get to it and show you how to use Zendrop for dropshipping with Shopify so the first thing you're going to do is obviously access zendrop.com and I will put the link for it in the description box so after you did access it make sure to sign up for an account from here create a free account and you don't have to add any credit card number or anything like that the only thing you will need to do is add your phone number as well as email and verify your email obviously that's the case for every platform right now I already did that so I'm going to simply click on login and after that after you did sign up to an account or login you should see this page right here it says connect your store to Zendrop and they have three options for integrations currently and I think most people now use Shopify right including you actually that's why you're watching this video so let's just click on Shopify and after that it will ask you to paste in the handle for your Shopify name so just to make sure let me get over to Shopify and copy it from there to make sure it's correct I don't have to testing anything wrong and here I am on my testing Shopify store so let's just copy the domain for it or just the hand this is not the domain this is the handle domain is the the only um, shopify.com or mystore.com or mybrand.com this is the handle of Shopify which is the subdomain for myshopify.com and make sure you do not copy it with the HTTPS and all of that just the subdomain only let's just copy it and get back to Zendrop and paste it in here and after that click on connect and give it a couple of seconds and it will redirect you to Shopify and it will ask you to install the app which is the Zendrop app for dropshipping so simply click on install app and give it a couple of seconds and it will quickly install the app and it will get back to you to Zendrop.com and here we are on the Zendrop platform so this is the Zendrop platform and the thing where you're gonna find the products and where you're gonna add them and no worries I'm gonna show you all of that in this video so just to know how Zendrop works or how to find products for example you can use the search bar if you are doing uh, dropshipping in a particular niche you can actually type in here for example pets and hit enter and it will show you all the products that has to do with pests and one thing you don't forget to do actually is pick the ship from anywhere and pick only the US this is if you are doing dropshipping in the US and I think most people are even if you are doing it in UK or Europe make sure to pick the US because the shipping will be much much faster than China actually so let's just go for this option in here and it will show me only products that has to do with pets and available in 
US wirehouses. However, sometimes the options will be really low. So if you cannot find some really good products, it's okay actually you can use anywhere. Even if the product is available in wirehouses in China, sometimes we'll have fast shipping. And that would be between five to a week maximum for the shipping to the US or Europe. However, if the product is, that is available in US warehouses, that will take only three days. And that's really good. And if you don't have a keyword or you can brainstorm keywords that has to do with your niche, you can go from the category form here and it will show you it's the accessories or all or whatever the niche that you are working for for example let's just go for footwear and it will show us products that has to do with pets and footwear as well and it doesn't make sense right and you can actually import products for example if you did search for something you cannot find it you can import products directly from aliexpress to your shopify store however the shipping will not be faster and it will take 20 days, 25 days for the product to arrive. And the days of 25, 28 days shipping time, it's over. You either have a week or 10 days maximum or just give up on the product because competition will beat you with that. I mean fast shipping. So make sure you do remove it at the keyword and it, if we go for footwear, it will show you products that has to do with footwear as you can see and the second option here is, is all suppliers and the fulfillment here is based on suppliers so some suppliers will have faster fulfillment and some will have slower and if you did pick Zendrop fulfillment here it will only show you products with Zendrop fulfillment and that will be really fast in order to process your order and ship it quickly and the next option here is price range and this is really obvious you can uh, sort out the product by the prices, the cheaper or the, the most expensive one. And there is some options that's really good in Zendrop. However, they require a premium account and I will do a video, a separate video on them just to show you guys if it's worth going for or not, which is the trendy products in here. It will show you trending products on Zendrop. And what I mean by trending is based on sales and most sales on Zendrop is obviously from dropshippers so you did find some products on trendy products that means they are uh, trending based on sales from dropshippers shopify or woocommerce uh, store owners and as i said i will do a separate video for that and right now let's just pick a product from here to do demonstration on it on how to add it to our shopify store so let's just go for this one for example i saw this before so let's just click on it and after you did click on the product it will show you some description pictures and so on and below all the variations for it and the price the total price for here and it will show you the shipping as well from uh, United States you can click on it and select the country where you want to ship the product in this case I'm going to keep it for United States and you can see the price for the shipping and the product cost is nine bucks or almost ten dollars and the shipping is as well $10.90 uh, which is $20.45 but this product can easily go for $40, $45 so the margin here is pretty good so if you want to add this product to your Shopify store the first thing you're going to do is obviously click on the green button that's screaming here add to on port list so simply click on it and after that let's just get back to on port list from the left menu in here simply click on it and it will show you the product in here so you can edit the name for the products from here or add new tags for the products and so on and the collection you can pick whatever collection you want i'm going to keep it footwear which is obviously the footwear and the product type let's just go for uh, sandals for example because that's what it is and the description in here you can click on description and edit it if you want however I do recommend you to make your own description so do not use the thing that's already available on the dropshipping products on Zendrop and the variations in here you can select which variation you want and which you don't in this case just for demonstration I'm going to keep them all and on the right here it will show you the sales price which is the recommended sell price on how to price your products however i do recommend you as well to do research on this because there is an important step you need to do in order to price your product correctly which is spying on competitors you don't want to overprice your uh, product because customers will prefer the competition instead so make sure to do some spying on your competitors to figure out uh, how they price the products and if you are interested in that i did make a video on how to spy on competitors and i did show some really cool tricks so if you are interested in that make sure to check out my channel 
I did show that video as well. So the second option here is images. So you can select which images you want and which you don't. And I do recommend you to keep all this selected and it will select them all by default just until it's imported into your Shopify and you can then edit them on the product page and select which one you want and which you don't. And obviously you need to do some editing to those pictures to make them uh, branded and looks good for your Shopify store. If you are interested in how to make pictures looks really awesome for products make sure to check out my channel i did make that video as well and as i said all these data you can actually edit them on your shopify store you don't have to stress over this so the next step which is the last one which is import to store right here simply click on import and it will show you here a message it will say that inventory that's uh, that's not correct and so on and as well some delays when it comes to productions however this is not always just in some products and they do show you this message always on all products so after that just click on garrett and click on confirm and it will say your product is been imported you can see the progress on and just like that it will be imported to our shopify store and to see if it's imported or not click on imported products on the left menu here and it should be right here so let's just get back to our shopify store to see if the product is available or not and let's just access the products and scroll down and here it is i do see it in here and here is the product that we did add to our shopify store from zendrop drop shipping and that's how you use zendrop with shopify for drop shipping and as i said if you have any questions or any video requests make sure to drop them below in a comment or check out my instagram right here below me i do reply to each comment as well as messages on my instagram and if you are wondering why is that because simply i'm working for you otherwise i think my job is done for this video so thanks for watching catch you on the next one